Dr. Ergan Sarai from Youngstown, Ohio. And uh, we performed a study in our patient population regarding gout prevalence and treatment among hospitalized patients. Uh, uh, the reason I was interested in this topic was uh, the role of hyperuricemia and gout uh, in chronic kidney disease progression and its impact on outcome of our patients. So I decided to find out how we are treating this patient population in our area, in our hospital. And and if we uh, did a retrospective uh, chart analysis of 1,827 patients and looked at patients CKD with gout and without gout. Uh, there were 251 patients uh, with gout. And uh, when we looked at uh, the home regimes uh, with these patients, uh, majority of the patients were on the uh, of those treated, but then the, the rest of the patients were not treated, constitute, constituting the bigger portion of the patients. And then we looked at the patients who develop acute gout in the hospital, and what we found is, uh, despite American College of Rheumatology recommendations as to how to treat uh, acute gout episodes, um, some of the medications were um, uh, misused. Uh, for example, allopurinol doses were increased or, uh, or stopped or, uh, or uh, started during acute episode uh, periods. So uh, next we looked at the association of um, gout with other risk factors including age and the presence or absence of diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and uh, similar to previous studies, uh, uh, patients uh, who had CKD with gout had a higher prevalence of diabetes, hypertension, and dyslipidemia. And so finally, in conclusion, you know, gout has a, a higher prevalence compared to general population in CKD patients, 13.7%, and male sex, advanced age, diabetes, hyperlipidemia were significantly associated with gout among CKD patients. And the treatment of gout was suboptimal uh, in this patient population. And uh, uh, in conclusion, uh, I think we need to increase the awareness of gout in CKD population. We need to educate maybe nephrology fellows as to how to treat these patients and, and also the primary care physicians and improve the outcome of these patients and suffering.